Hi, I'm Tagald. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I have something exciting for you. I have an unboxing. So this the seller is uh, called uh, Solheim Gartneri. So the, if any Norwegians watch this, so she's very professional. Uh, so I, I expect this to be great. I'm very excited. So there's a box within the box. First, I have to uh, This is so good. These are some of my wish list plants. There are some, these are, I think, these are uh, cuttings, but they're still in a, in a pot, so, so uh, I didn't think they were rooted, or maybe one of them, but, um, I have to find out later, I think. Uh, this is uh, um, scissors this color. This is def definitely one of my wish list plants. And uh, I also threw in uh, a Hoya Publicalix, Publicalix in the order because um, I just wanted a different Hoya than I have. And this was one of the most one of the, the cheaper ones so yeah mm. but i'm really happy f for the scissors i've uh, seen that i can care for scissors very well with my scissors and masonica and there's another plant here and this uh, should be well rooted if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, do you see? Ah, those leaves. Gorgeous. Now this is um, a philodendron. Um, it's known as philodendron nicans, but it, that's uh, a wrong name. Uh, it's uh, actually uh, philodendron uh, heteroseum and the typical variation within that species. So, as far as I understand, uh, the regular hot-leaf philodendron is the same species, but they don't have these gorgeous leaves. I do have a small cutting of the, of the more plain-looking. It's kind of odd that the plain-looking is not the, the species type. Or uh, how do you say that in English? Oh, uh, it's weird, but it's 
very nice to have this philodendron. I just love those leaves. Uh, I'll unpack it and show you. So this is patted up very nice. It's even got roots sticking out of the, of the bottom. Uh, so I should probably repot it at least make sure the roots stay within the pot for the next couple of weeks so i think this is gorgeous um i'm also very happy about these plants i actually haven't propagated any plants in uh, moss before uh, i'm not really sure but it, it looks like there are maybe two stems here or maybe it, it's one that separates i'm not sure i'll dig them out and uh, i think probably i'll probably root the hoya in this moss but the scissors i have very good experience with other types of scissors rooting in water and that is my preferred method because then I know then I can watch the roots develop so that's one of the rare uh, 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 unboxing videos for me I excavated these cuttings and even though uh, the order said that this, this was an unrooted cutting. I had got some very nice roots. So I guess I'll put this straight into soil. Probably a mix, a soil mix that is heavy in uh, bark and perlite because I tend to overwater and uh, that's not really good with Hoyas. Uh, the scissors, on the other hand, uh, are not rooted, and I think I'll put one in the um, uh, Ziploc bag uh, it came in with the moss. Uh, maybe I'll even divide it. Uh, we'll see. And then there's this one with leaves on uh, that I think I'll stick in water. So that's it for now and I hope you enjoyed my unpacking and I, I hope to get back to you with, with, with a video soon. Uh, another video but um, yeah. Uh, any tips on uh, growing these plants or uh, especially actually about filming and publishing videos on YouTube and how to edit them and so on uh, because I may I think I know, know plants a little better than I uh, know the technical things about filming um, but if you have any tips and tricks and uh, secrets, uh, please let me know. Also, comments on the plants. Uh, I really appreciate that. Any comments, really. Um, yeah. I may also make a, a video about all my reasons not to make videos. Uh, so... Uh, please subscribe if you're interested in plants or my weird humor. Yeah, thanks. Bye.